Hello again, my scientists. So yesterday we learned and talked about the sun. So today we are going to talk about stars. And like we learned yesterday, the sun is a star, okay? So you should have in your Tuesday folder today two things that hopefully you can print out. So this is going to be really important. This is where we're gonna take our notes. And then you have the passage with some questions. So, and it's titled stars. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna read the paragraph, the passage, the couple paragraphs um, about stars. And then some of the information that we learned, we are going to transfer over to our notes because good scientists always take notes. And then the final thing you will do is on your own, you will answer some of the questions and then post that in your discussion post for today, okay? So, if you are able to, this should be printed out. You should be able to read along and kind of take notes along with me. If not, then you are just listening and um, you can write down your answers later on a piece of notebook paper and you can also write your notes on a piece of notebook paper. All right, so the first thing that we always want to do is we want to get in the habit of numbering something called paragraphs in our passages. So if you look, and we should know, when we write, we always indent, right? So do you see where there's those chunks on our writing? Those are called our paragraphs. And that's gonna help us when we go back and find our answers later. We can say, oh, I remembered that in paragraph one. So let's go ahead and number our paragraphs. And we should have number one right next to stars, number two next to stars, number three by scientists, four by when, five by groups, and six by space, all right? So I would like you to read along with me, and then we'll talk about the things we learned and put it on our notes. All right, are we ready? I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And I know this always makes you seasick. All right, are we ready? In paragraph one, Stars are huge balls of gases. They are everywhere in space. The gases burn, give off light, and give off heat. The sun is the easiest star to find in the sky. We learned about the sun yesterday. And it's the closest star to Earth. Other stars look like tiny points of light. Paragraph two. Stars form in outer space when dust and gases come together. Stars grow larger as they grow older. Mm, interesting. Most stars live for billions of years. Most stars die when they explode. Scientists think that a star in our galaxy explodes every 50 years. Wow, I am learning a lot of stuff today about stars. Scientists identify stars by their size and temperature. In 1905, Enar Hutzberg discovered two kinds of stars, giants and dwarfs. Dwarfs are stars that are the same size as the sun or smaller. A giant is a star that is at least 10 times larger than the sun, while a supergiant is a star that is at least 100 times larger than the sun. Wow, that's huge, isn't it? Think about how big the sun seems to us, and that's not even the biggest star. That's crazy. When you look very closely, stars are different colors. So let's make sure we're remembering this because on our notes, we're gonna to have to color code the stars. Blue stars are the hottest. Light blue stars are the next hottest. White stars are cooler than light blue stars. Yellow stars are cooler than white stars. 
orange stars are hotter than red stars, but cooler than yellow. That's a lot of colors. Red stars are the coolest. The sun is, can you guess what color? A yellow star. And Earth revolves around it. The stars range in order from hottest to coolest is blue, light blue, white, yellow, orange, and finally red. So remember, blue is the hottest, which I wouldn't have thought. And red is the coldest, which kind of seems backwards to me, right? Groups of stars form shapes in the sky. People long ago drew imaginary lines to connect stars like dot-to-dot -dot pictures. The lines make shapes like hunters, fish, or animals, and are called, say it with me, constellations. Have you ever been able to look up in the sky and see constellations, like the Big Dipper? If not, try to do that tonight. Space is so full of stars that there are too many to count, like the grains of sand on a beach. The solar system is in the Milky Way galaxy, which has billions of stars. In the universe, there are billions of galaxies. In each galaxy, there are billions of stars. All right, so that is your star's passage. Now, later, remember, you are going to answer all these questions. You're going to go back like I've shown you before, underline and find your answers, and then you're going to post this, okay? But let's move that to the side because we're going to use that to kind of help us take notes. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to get out your paper that has what is a star on the title. And what is a star? If you go back and look in the passage, what paragraph did you find that in? Did you find it in paragraph one? In that very first sentence, it tells us stars are huge balls of what? Gas. So what is a star? We always restate the question in our answer. So A, star is a huge ball of gas. Okay? So then the next little graphic organizer has us talking about the brightness, the size, and the color. Okay, so they talked about the size and the color, but for the brightness, we'll, I'll go ahead and kind of tell you that one and you can kind of copy along. So brightness, a measure of how much light a star gives off. And all stars give off a lot of light. But some are dimmer, which means not as bright as others. So when you look up in the sky, you can see those ones that are really bright but then you can see ones that are kind of faint. So stars give off a lot of light. Some are dimmer. Okay? And as you're kind of writing that in, I'm gonna make you see sick, sick again. Just kind of think for a minute. What paragraph? It talked about the size, which is the next one. Which paragraph talked about the sizes? Do you remember they had two different names, actually three, different names for the stars? So that's what we'll put for the size. 
So if you need to pause it to write this down, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next box with size. Now, if you remember, if we go back and look in our text, which paragraph talked about the size? Paragraph three, right? It talked about the scientists that discovered two kinds, so it was two, sorry, two kinds of stars, giants and dwarfs, right? You see that? And they said dwarfs are stars that are the same size as the sun or smaller. So we'll make sure we write that in. I'm gonna zoom out. And a giant is a star that's at least 10 times larger than the sun. But then they did talk about another one, the super giant. And the super giant is at least 100 times larger than the sun. So let's go ahead and write that down in our notes. All right, so we are in the box that says size. And there were three different kinds, so we can number them. So we'll start with the, which one should we start with? The smallest, do you remember what that was called? Dwarf. So those are the same size. Or we're gonna make a little slash and say smaller. than the sun. And then we have, and again, if you run out of room and you have to just bring it down a little bit, that's okay. Then we have, what's next? The giant, right? And the giant, do you remember? Is 10 times larger than the sun. So we can just put 10 times larger than the sun. And then the biggest, do you remember what the biggest star is? A super giant? And the super giant, do you remember, is at least how many? A hundred times larger. So a hundred times larger than the sun. Okay? So again, if you need to pause it to write it down, that's fine. All right. So then let's kind of talk about and remember the colors. What paragraph did it talk about the colors? Paragraph four, right? So remember stars have all different colors and we'll talk about those in a minute. And their color is related to their temperature. So for our notes for color, let's go ahead and write that stars have different colors. A star's color is related to its temperature. All right, so down at the bottom, it has four stars, but they talked about more than four colors. So let's see if you can go back and remember. So I'm not gonna do this part, but remember you should have this right next to you. And I want you to think about, so this, it says increasing star temperature. So it means this is the coolest and this is the hottest. So let's just write coolest, the coldest, 
and then this one is the hottest. Do you remember what color was the coldest? Remember, it was like opposite of what we thought, or at least what I thought. When I think of hot, I normally think of this color. Do you remember? So you might need to go get some crayons, and sorry I didn't tell you that earlier. Crayons or color pencils or markers, so if you need to pause me and go get those, do that because we are going to need to color in our stars. And if you wanna just write it in and then color it later, you could do that also. All right, so back to paragraph four. What is the coolest star? What color? Red, right? So let's go ahead and color our first one red. So then they talked about the next one, and if we look, is orange. So we are actually going to draw the orange one. So we've got the coolest is red, then the second coolest is orange. So we're gonna add a couple in. Now this next one is what the sun is. What color star is the sun? Do you remember? Yellow. And I love, love, love you if you are going back in your text and checking because it is all in there. All right, so then after yellow is what color? Is white. So we don't need to do that. We can just leave that one blank. And then what after? So not quite the hottest. Do you remember? Light blue is the second hottest. And then again, the opposite. So I thought the hottest would be red, but the coolest is really red. The hottest star is actually dark blue, which when I think of dark blue, mine kind of might be a little purple, but um, when I think of dark blue, I think of cold. So that is a good way to remember its opposites. All right, so you should have been taking notes along with me if you need to go back and rewind or pause, if you need to go get your crayons to color, but hang on to this, make sure you put it in your one of your folders along with your um, sun notes from yesterday, all right? And then the last thing you are going to do is you are going to take a little quiz. Now this is gonna be a grade. This is gonna be one of your science grades. And you are going to answer the questions back on our STARS passage, all right? So we will go over the questions real quick. How old are STARS? So you're gonna to have to go back and find the answer. When did Enar Hertzberg discover two types of stars? What paragraph was that in? Go back and find the answer. Number three, how often do scientists think that a star explodes in our galaxy? Again, I'm making you sick. Go back and find the answer. Number four, what was the author trying to do in writing this passage? So what was the author's purpose here? What were they trying to do? And then the last one, and I'm gonna stop and tell you, that one, number four, you're not gonna be able to find that in the passage. That one you're going to have to use what you've learned in, in your toolbox and kind of infer or make a guess, a hypothesis. The last one, what is the color of the coolest star? So yes, you can use your notes. Go back. You can also use what we just took to answer the questions. And then make sure you post that on your discussion post. All right, have a fabulous day. I will talk to you later.